Uh, it's a stream preview. Wait for YouTube to load. Edit the game. What the heck's the pre sequel? Huh? Seriously. Like YouTube doesn't have the pre sequel. I guess look at the handsome collection, that's technically what's in. Um, all right, should be everything. Hello, entity. All right. I... I might have to lower my mic a little. Because oh, I'm moving it a little bit closer to my mouth so I can actually see. But the game is... Yeah, I think the audio is mixed. All right. So, new game. I only have game capture on, so even if I just want to make sure. All right, so yeah, you can't see if I brought any tabs up. Okay. Well, thanks to popular demand, it should be very obvious what class I'm going to be going. Because that's literally what everyone has been requesting so far. If you cannot guess, it's going to be Claptrap. Oh yeah, cutscenes. Oh, you can skip it. Cool. What was the main base of this game? Oh, uh, the pre-sequel? It's... it happens between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. It basically is kind of... the story focuses on Handsome Jack's backstory. You work for Handsome Jack. It's actually insanely fun. Um, you see how he gets betrayed by Moxie, Roland, and Lilith. Ton of new characters. It takes place on the moon. Elpis, Pandora's moon. You're in space. It's awesome. Oh, I like that. Yeah, nothing compares to that. Nisha, please. I've played Nisha before. I think she's really good. But everyone's gonna want Claptrap, because ev everyone wants Claptrap. Do I blame them? Not really. But... <laughs> yeah, I've played Nisha before. I have not... I've played Claptrap once. I don't have a I don't have a funny name. Honestly, the most character customization I did was in Wonderlands, and I think that's where I'll keep most character customization. Anyway, <laughs> I completely forgot. The aimbot is cool. Yeah, I have a level seventy Nisha. I had a lot of fun playing her. That was off stream though. Athena is more fun, but yeah, clap trap. All right. Yes. So if we're being technical, the starter guns can be considered uniques, and well, that's pretty much all I get. Um, can these carry me to deadlifts? That's the real question. So, first of all, I'd have to change up my stuff to pull it up, but um, as far as I remember, deadlift is our first gun source, 
I'm the main reason I'm playing Claptrap is because even though he does not, oh yeah, let's turn off bar so I don't do that by accident. Stable bar. Um, Claptrap doesn't consume oxygen. I was thinking I didn't want to play Claptrap because he doesn't consume oxygen, but you can get Oz kits that are unique from Janie Springs, so I'd say it's allowed because you can get those really early on. Anyways, yeah, so I just gotta see what the first gun I can get is. So let me check that out real quick. I am 99% sure it is deadlift. It's the laser. Let's see, are there any pistols before? Anything before? Hmm. Wait. Oh, come on. The shock. Yeah, it. So I was looking for that. Apparently, it's not guaranteed to drop. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Yeah, there it is. Oh, wait, there's all the lasers. I'm blind. So, yeah, I guess that's our first unique. Confirm the screen. Scragon. Ooh, the Scragon. Ew, auto playing videos. Disgusting. Firestarter. Oh, there's also Nova, no problem. Wait, is that Nova Shield unique? Oh, wait, I gotta check that. Maybe that's unique shield. All right, I guess we'll see. Let us just play. Ooh, one more thing I want to check. All right, I think we're all good to go. So, considering you can't get. <laughs> anything from Helios, literally. Uh, I think anything goes until I get my first gun. I'll try my best without having to use anything. So, wait, we start with an... Vladoff and TDR. Oh boy. My aim is that. That's not a good sign. I have not played a shooter since Borderlands 2, so my aim may need some calibration. Also, I can't see like half my screen, so. Ooh, hold on. Does this chair go any higher? Barely. Oh, that is way better. Oh, I can see above my microphone. Cool. The Lost Legion must have killed this one. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion. With great intensity. This robot died in horrific anger. Oh, 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 oh. Experimental prototype FR4 GTP reporting for duty. Wait, what's the damage? <laughs> Worst day ever. Yeah, I'm afraid I can't skip cutscenes. I'm also surprised that the other pre sequel video did as well as it has. It has like 96,000 views. I didn't expect that from pre sequel. I'm not complaining, obviously. I'm really glad, but I'm, I'm surprised. Anyways, the berry seems to be relatively stable, despite it being cloudy outside, winter and all. 
What? Okay, for sure they all... They literally all dodge the grenade. How's that fair? What good is a grenade if your enemies just dodge it? This thing is good at close quarters. How's the TDR SMG? Horrible. Ah. Oh. You're gonna be my revive. Oh, I. Uh, it's not a baby maker, but. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can use it like one. Torgmata. I'll. I'll check that in a second. Dead, yeah. Uh, I assume deadlift respawns. I hope he respawns. Don't want to have to save, you know, force quit the game to. So yeah, we'll see. I want to ammo up first. I didn't realize I'd run out of ammo that fast. All right, looks like you got a shield. Um, I want to see how long I can go without a shield. So wait. Yeah, so it could be the torque, uh, Torquemada or from uh, Nova, no problem. Hey, just let me activate the defense controls. A few seconds, we'll have turrets, force fields. Oh, yeah, I should go deal with the turrets. Critical failure. Helios defense systems are being jammed. What? How? Jamming signal originates from Elpha. Pandora is moved. Oh, crap. Kill the turrets. Kill the turrets. <laughs> Cool. This day gets better and better. All right, plan B. If we can't take Helios back, we need to evacuate. Escape ships are this way. Yeah, I'm really just wondering if I can. Who's she? She seems angry. I don't know. She leads these jackasses, I think. I don't know. But the first person. See how long I can go without a shield. I also freaking love the Helios combat theme. So good. Oh, son of a taint. Hello, Jack. Hey, it's that Colonel. Execute plan to shoot that chick in the head. Hello, Jack. Yet again, Bro on 3 gave us no information about this Guardian. Just saying, perfect story point, they completely wasted. Okay, that's unnerving. Run! Ah, oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta find another way off the station. What the heck was that creature? Uh, no idea. <laughs> Keep running. What the hell is going on? I'm getting reports. Claptrap tried to French kiss a loss a uh, light switch. Or a uh, light socket. I thought it was socket. One of the claptrap units tried to French kiss. I have done this so many times thanks to the uh other the legendary only run, that testing. That was painful. We're honestly, the fight, okay, so it's a funny parallel. I can remember a lot of the lines from here, also because I played it for a long, long time. 
but I've forgotten almost all the Wonderland's lines, even though I've had to redo that way more. All right. Who has the Jacob sniper? Hello, Game Slayer. Ooh, actually, yeah, let's deal with that fire barrel. Because we all know it's going to happen. Hello. Can I actually shoot a fighter down? That'd be cool. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> about the one. <laughs> my my Elky old type. Also, uh, Claptrap doesn't seem to have a down animation, which is weird. You get long. Ah. Thomas, have you watched my legendary only playthrough? Uh, you can't. You cannot get the Nukem in normal Vault Hunter mode. Trust me, I, I've done my research. You cannot. It is physically impossible. And it's a legendary. And I'm only using uniques. No legendaries in this run. I would have asked to play with my games. Stone Stunning says, out of memory. Oh. Well, I only play solo in these runs for now. Maybe in the future, but I prefer to play solo. Sorry. Action skill time. Vaulthunter.exe. I mean... Yeah, like the one run where it could actually prove me wrong, it'd be hilarious. Jack took my kill. <laughs> Why? Why is Why claptrap punch like that though? I love that. That is my new favorite punch animation. Forget any other vault hunter in this series. Bop. I just realized something. Are you out of storage or something? Can I beat Flame Knuck without a shield? How are you playing as Claptrap? Claptrap's one of the Vault Hunters in pre sequel. Also, rip bitrate. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, Claptrap. Is one of the Vault Hunters in the pre sequel. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. I re Rubber's only good for bullets. He has a flamethrower. How's this supposed to help? Oh, wait! Claptrap doesn't take as much fire damage. Right. All right, we're good. Oh. Uh, okay, this is Borderlands the pre-sequel, not three. Borderlands three has Zane, Moe's, Amara, and Flack. Pre-sequel has a uh, Claptrap, you know, good character. Aurelia, uh, Wilhelm, Jack's body double. And Nisha. And Athena. Alright, down me. Yeah, also Claptrap has no down animation. That's so bizarre. Uh-oh. Oh, actually, can I? Oh! Fun Zerker! Oh, heck yeah! That is perfect. That is awesome. 
I know. Really likes fire. Uh, yeah, so uh, Amara is the siren in 3. There's no siren in pre sequel, oddly enough. Yeah, like that's getting a uh, fun zerker is literally perfect there. Dude, I think Claptrap might be. Okay, I argue Claptrap's actually broken. But yeah, no drop. I'm just so used to it, not that. Yeah, because I also completely forgot that Claptrap regens health in Vault Hunter.exe. Yeah, that can't be balanced. See, that was the only real issue I had with playing Claptrap. He's actually really good. People really think he's a joke character, but he's unironically good. He might be like one of the top Vault Hunters in this game, honestly. Because <laughs> also he has really good skills, like some really good stuff. Living near the edge and pirate ship, obviously. That's the best one. Right tree is fun too, but uh, left tree the best easily. Trust me, just wait till I get pirate ship. That is my favorite augment. Cause it's um, I forgot what it's classical music that plays during it. I can't remember which song it is, but it's it's good. So if you're coming from Borderlands 2, the characters don't really you know answer. They don't have dialogue back most of the time. Actually, all the time, I'm pretty sure. But uh, in pre-sequel, pre-sequel is the first game to have the characters, like the Vault Hunters, respond, which is pretty cool. And then obviously, uh, 3 has the Vault Hunter dialogue, and of course, Wonderlands. I want to see if I can get through... Uh, the next map with only starter weapons and no shield. I think it's possible, honestly. I probably won't let you down. Oh, whoops, but... Lone. Awesome. So Blight Bot is Maya's Blight Phoenix. And also kind of like a death trap and a turret, I think. I can't remember. There's a place I can't get past. It's so like, can't continue. Oh, in this game? Oh. How far in the game is it? Because I'll be honest, Borderlands the pre-sequel is very difficult. That had oh, so like the game just kind of broke. Oh, uh, okay, this container ought to do the trick. Let me go, let me go down to the moon. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do with Deadlift doesn't drop his gun. Not sure. Uh, oh, your computer had a virus. All right. That sucks. All right. I know someone there who can help you find that jamming signal. Can't skip cutscenes, so we wait. There he is! Open fire! Oh crap! Oh, 
Borderlands 2 is mostly story. I think Borderlands 2, honestly, is more action than story. Yeah, there are some scenes where, you know, there's a lot of dialogue, but you can actually uh, save quit to skip those. Pre-sequel has way more story because of all these cutscenes. Which, I'll admit, the cutscenes are actually really freaking cool, especially this one. But yeah, can you... Re uh, yeah, I have Borderlands 3. That's going to be the run after this run and after I make the video. And, fun fact... I actually just bought Borderlands 3 for my computer. I'd normally play it on Xbox, but Epic Games had like a like a 70% off deal or something like that. A crazy deal for Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition, so I bought that. And I had another coupon on top of that, so I literally bought a $100 bundle for $20. And it could have been less, but uh which one call it? Because like Epic Games also gives you credit if you buy stuff, but it takes 15 days to come in. Because I also bought a Commander Lilith DLC for Borderlands 2. So for some reason neither of the Borderlands... Oh, well, I mean, most people have Borderlands games on Steam. It just happens that long time ago, uh, Epic Games had a thing where they were giving out the handsome... Over here. Oh, which one caught? They had the handsome bundle, which includes Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel and all of their DLCs for free. So, that's why, that's the only reason I have pre-sequel and 2 on my computer. So, that's why I had to buy Commander Lilith DLC on 2, or on Epic. And, yeah. Obviously, I would prefer Steam in a perfect world, but hey, here we are. They have good deals. Can't argue with that. Nearly there. It'd be embarrassing if you died now. Come on. It's not like I'm going to, you know, die out here or anything. <laughs> so weird that Claptrap has to, like, fake it. Is shooting bro in three... Yeah. That is the plan. After I finish this run, I need to edit the video on it. And after that, I will start the bro in three run. Huh. <laughs> Cool. So what are you doing here? There's a signal somewhere on the moon that is jamming Helios station's defenses. To return to Helios, we need to destroy the jamming signal. A jamming signal? Haven't noticed anything like that. You might want to get to Concordia, a little city run by a fellow. All right. Got to be somebody there who can help you. You'll need an O2 kit, Oz kits we call them, to survive the journey though. I've got some broken ones stashed nearby, but I can We just wait for dialogue, then we can play. You'll be glad you've got an Oz kit. And I'll be doing spring side quests because we need the XP. It's actually really weird to play a character that can survive in space without an Ozkit. Freaking, the legendary only run was horrible. I don't want to do that ever again. I literally, well, I'm not going to have a shield for a while, but my health bar was literally all I had. I had no Ozkit for a long time in that run. I mean, the guns were good, but still, playing a lot, good portion of the game without Ozkit is horrible. Uh, yeah, let's see. Another place in this game make it longer for me to... Oh, interesting. I I don't think I've ever had issues with Helios. That building used to be in one piece and not lava adjacent. Till the crackening, anyway. Okay, oh, I forgot I locked it. Whoops. Just punch off the locks with your meat hunks. Yep. That's moon for hands. Actually, I just realized, though, the reason the animation is weird, well, not weird, but, you know, this Claptrap's awesome melee animation, it's the the ninja Claptraps from... Or the karate Claptraps from uh, Borderlands 1. That is hilarious. I'm def I definitely have to note that in the video. He's 
also got something I'll need to get us into Concordia. All right. You cleared the place out? I'm coming down. Just bring the broken Oz kit to me and I'll repair it for you. Wait for springs, then we need to get our side quest because we kind of have to do them. Hello, Muffin. You know, Springs could have probably started walking here earlier, but I guess. Deadly blades abandoned. Ooh, wait. Springs Oska unique? Wait, let me check all the Oz kits. Okay, so hers is technically not unique according to the wiki, so... There's that. I actually didn't know that. I thought that was unique. <laughs> Zarphodon? Was her dad a kaiju or something? Alright. You have my vote. All you had to say was kaiju. That's actually pretty funny. Oh yeah, I know. But the main reason I need to do side quests is because that's where almost all the uniques come from. Conveniently, pre-sequel is an interesting game where there are actually a few uniques that are world drops, like the the machine. That's a common one, actually. But yeah, and I need to do this side quest to justify having an Oz kit. Anyways, I... Let's see. So that's shields for health? Yeah, I just realized though, what if you don't have, hmm. I need to kill an enemy now, cause I'm actually curious. Does it work if you don't have a shield? Is that a viable strat? If you need to find me, I'll be back at my camp. There are some Kragans over here I can test it out on. It does! Interesting. I hate fire. Mod my Borland. I've never played modded Borlands, but I'm definitely interested sometime. Uh, there's a mod for Borlands 2 that's coming out soon that adds Mr. Torg as a playable Vault Hunter. I really want to try that. That's like one of the few things I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I don't get excited for much anymore, but being able to play as Mr. Torg, now that seems awesome. Anyways. I've set up a bunch of cameras at the apex of your jump. I just need you to get airborne and say something Let's do this mission real quick. Sorry. Say something inspirational, y'all. Believe in your dreams! <laughs> Uh, thanks. I, I appreciate that. I don't think I have links enabled on Twitch. Probably not, but I don't plan to do it anytime soon. If you want, yeah, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't. Oh wait, All right, I was distracted. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't plan to mod anytime soon because I have so many other games to play before I need to rely on Borderlands Two. Hello, travelers. All right, that's all we had to do there, right? I feel like I always... Okay, yeah. I always forget something there. It's usually the printers. It's the printers and turning in the mission. There was no film in the cameras. Just kidding. Joke. Don't freak out. All right, so Oz... Hmm. Damage while airborne. I always go for health because health is... Kind of important, if we're being honest. So yes.
My first unique of the entire run. I assume. I just want to double check. Invigoration, yes, that is a unique. And that'll be one of the few Oz kits I have this run. I oh, I always forget to take the stuff. That's what I forget. Okay. And the other one is Tales from Elvis. Yeah, it's so weird just being able to double jump without having to actually worry about your health running out due to running out of oxygen. All right. Once upon a time, there was this moon. Then some military dudes came and started mining. They delved all deep and greedy and crap. Moon cracked open, people died, no one lived happily ever after. Finn. What do you think? Not enough action. I'll take it under advisement. Not enough action. There might be another one in my old camp. It got overrun by Kragans. Killed my... They killed her. They killed her. There once was a Dead bar that I can't even use by double jumping. And bit Janie. She blew off its face. Now there's no trace <laughs> of the Kragan who dared such cockamamie. Well... I didn't know the crack getting created crack gods. Also, you scare me. Enough, you scare me. Oh, that reminds me though. Flamey son owes me a life and he's still out there. Track him down and get it for me, yeah? <clears throat> that scrape that got big. Kill it. No, a blight bot. I was wondering why I was bouncing. I guess <laughs> I was bouncing off a freaking kraken. Also, I have to say, blight bot is not the best for, uh, Fire resistant enemies. Cool. Wait a second. Ha! I have notifications disabled for like everything on every device I use. I wonder if Springs. Is yes, actually. That's what people forget about Springs. I kind of did too, because like, especially because isn't she in a relationship with uh, Athena or someone else? Yeah, Athena. And those are two characters that have not returned. So, as much as that cryo, no shock. Now, as much as I want to use it, cannot. Well, not yet. Yeah, that's a good point. I kind of forgot. So, will I be able to beat Deadlift with a starter pistol and no shield? More importantly, will he actually drop what I need? Dragon. All right, just don't give me Blightbot, because I hate Blightbot. Give me fun minion trap. I'll take it. I love minion trap. <laughs> oh, no, not into the lava. Ooh, hello. Yeah, but, uh huh. Well, that's the thing. That's because she's a pre-sequel character, but they've... Okay. Literally done nothing else with her, which is a little sad, actually. She's a really good character. <laughs> Be right back, my nose starting. All right. And it restarts here. Whoa. That was a ton of things. These guys are really tough, man.
Yeah, I don't think the starter pistol can beat deadlift, so I should definitely find... That's funny, the display is glitched. Ground slamming is, well, butt slamming, shall I say, is one of the best ways to take care of groups of enemies like this. All right, level five. Uh-oh. So yeah, I've already mapped out my entire build, so I know what I'm going. I think. Yeah, I need that. I need that. You know, I always used to think that fight for your life skills are useless because, oh, it's it's simple, I'll just get a kill. Sometimes it's not, though, especially in harder difficulties. I've been playing Borderlands 2 uh, as Axton in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, and yeah, uh, last-ditch effort is extremely difficult, or extremely useful. Another freaking fun Zerker, though. But yeah, and, it, well, another thing that gave me a huge appreciation for fight for your life skills is... Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. I don't like to cheese uniques or legendaries, though, so yeah. That's an option, though. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Doge. Also, what's up? Uh, but yeah, uh, Athena's like 40% damage in Fight for Your Life skill is ridiculously broken. That is legitimately what carried the run. Oh, wait. I... Alright, hold on. Alright, Game Slayer, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Might as well kill the dragon up here. Forgot what's called. It was Boomicorn. Yeah, those are some of the world drop uniques. Hello, Phonic, Kragen. Hello, Sonic. That's actually what this Kragen is a reference to, by the way. It's uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, Phonic, first of all. Second of all, he drops money when hit. He's super, super fast if you're not careful. I mean, might as well kill him just to kill him. I... Oh, wait, what was that? I desperately need ammo. Hello, Kragen. Could get the guy I mentioned was World Draft. Yeah. And even some chests have it, because I've gotten the machine from a red chest before. Alright, fine. I'll just go if you don't want to fight me down here. Oh, now you do. Eh. Not, wor not worth it. Ooh. Uh, was that... Uh... Colonel Zarpadon's shock Jacob's pistol. I feel like that's what it was. Uh, 
Why am I not even surprised the cryo hit me? Nah, don't tell me I've, my first death is going to be to a freaking elemental barrel. That was close. Oh, it also... Ooh, bulletproof, I'll take it. But yeah, that was a little bit too close for comfort. From now on, I'm going to shoot every single elemental barrel I see before I get too close to it. As I've learned the consequences of not doing that. Like, yeah, look at that. My first death would have been to an elemental barrel. That would have been horrible. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, that was a Maggie? Oh. They have very. I mean, I guess they're Jacob's pistols and all, still. Yeah, they look very similar. <laughs> I'm not gonna die to my own gun reload. That would be worse. My first death to my own gun reload. That would be very sad. What's up, brother? Sorry if I missed out on some streams. Uh, this is my first stream uh, for a while since the Borderlands 2 streams. So, you've not missed anything. I desperately need, desperately need to drink more water. Why do the posters have to fly out all over the map? Like, look at... Oh, come on! Dude, every single time something happens like this... And... So I'm going to reload the game then. Every single time, it has to be something. Why can't you just be normal game? Take two. That's actually wild. Yeah, it literally... It found the single crack in the freaking map and dropped through it. It gave me a sliver of hope that maybe I could pick it up. And then, nah. Uh, well that's... Getting a turret right there is unfortunate because that was a bad spot for it. You know, turret any other time is very nice. I ascend. <laughs> I think it would have been kind of spec into the gun. Wait. Gun skill subroutine? Is it this one? Wait. So I think... Well, yeah, but... Of the gun selected, and I only have two gun options, so it would reduce my effectiveness if I had any other type of gun. That wouldn't be great. I think it's better to go for the left tree. For some guaranteed buffs. The only other issue with the Claptrap is, since I'm not breathing constantly, I'm not picking up the oxygen canisters, uh, which means I don't get healing. Yeah, that or claw skill. Uh, 
Yes. Let's go all. I don't play Clash Trap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right tree is really good. I think it's only good as a second tree, though, not a first. Or maybe, you know, after you have plenty of weapons. Cool. It's actually pretty neat. We love Clap Trap. I was doing my homework so I missed out on 40 minutes. We had to do Fantasy Old Map. Interesting. I... Yeah, it's so long ago, I can't even remember it now. I think for history we did a class of like some eight, eight or a, a map. Or, you know, like a, we had to make a model of a, like, village from some old civilization. Goes to show you how good our education system is when I can't even remember it. How useless that information is. Gonna have to vault hunter here. Minion trap, my favorite. I love playing Axton, so. Absolutely love the minion trap. I'm developing self-confidence. All right, that that incendiary barrel is gonna blow up for sure. Yeah, I did that. I've got. I always forget to activate the jump pad. I'm so focused on doing this mission. I can never remember how to do them both at the same time. All right, hold on. All right, let's try this again. Try the jump pad. Get ammo while I'm here because I'm gonna need it. I assume with Claptrap's action skill, I could probably beat deadlifts. Hopefully, without too much trouble, but I guess we'll see. Eh. Oh. Math homework. Math is oh, horrible. Math wouldn't be a bad subject if you learned stuff that was actually useful in real life, like, you know, taxes. Not stuff you're literally never going to use unless you have a super specific career, like an engineer or something. Engineer, architect. So, uh... Oh, you had family problems. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, death trap too. Awesome. Let's see. I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, even I don't. Didn't like math. Too complicated. Uh, well, the big thing was mostly I just I knew I wouldn't have any use for any of them. Uh oh. Computer?
Uh oh. When did the game last save? Hold on. Uh. Okay, what are we doing? The game seems frozen, I don't know why. Oh yeah, oh, all right, the game's dead. That is super unfortunate. Uh, gotta kill it. Oof. Yeah, that was weird though. It's not a normal crash. That's... I don't know, actually. Because normally it would give you the error message. Uh, does it? Okay, there. Took it a minute to find the game. Mm. All the way back here. That's annoying. Pretty sequel moment. My pre-sequel doesn't usually crash, though. That was... That was actually really sad. Ah, oh, I gotta do everything. I... Well, at least I remember to not miss the jump pad this time. Uh, Macromancer? Oh, and Anarchy, that's right. Anarchy is the big thing with uh, this, not Death Trap. Oh. <laughs> Let's hope you can, yeah. Well, now that I know there's no other save point. Well, actually, it's funny because the save point was literally a jump away. But wait, did my inventory in the level save? Because my inventory wasn't full last time I came here. That's super weird. Anyways. Uh, by turning on and off a bar, you can actually force the game to save. So, that is something I will be using then. I do that a lot if I know the game is prone to crashing. Well, at least I got the same. Sadly, though, I got freaking corrosive dot. So that was annoying. Yep. Oh, uh, what character are you playing? Claptrap. Oh yeah, also... Yeah. Well, then that actually sounds pretty cool though, being able to choose between an easier math. I wish. But I mean, I don't gotta worry about that anymore. What's it? Ah, poster. Oh, uh, uh, don't forget the jump pad. I forgot the jump pad, but I remembered it earlier than usual. That's all that really matters here. Did the cam did the mic pick that up? Crap! Better head up to that geothermal substation. 
refresh and see what the damage is. That's the only thing that sucks about having my window open. People can hear stuff outside. My customers are gonna get those hoity toity hot. Ah, it looks like someone's so cool. He might be left. Don't die. But it is winter. Alright. Blight bot is actually good here. Flash enemies and all. Uh, oh, and Slovakia. <laughs> Fuck. I have to say if it's I or Y. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, you can't really choose what you want to learn at any place, really, unless you're going to, you know, college. But still. Chaz less delayed? Yeah. Wonder why. Stuff just decides to work sometimes. Yeah. Oh, uh, but if you choose... Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, you know, if people know they're not going to go to college then or university, they don't have to. Why didn't that work? Oh, Fuse is busted. Got an idea, though. Stream is lacking. Yeah, it does that every so often. Literally nothing I can do about it, though. It's been really good today, despite it being cloudy out, because it's winter. You can avoid that. I just realized. I didn't know that. Yeah, also not gonna lie. I think pre-sequel has really good movement. Honestly, that's why I just... That made me think that's the only thing Borderlands 3 is missing. Borderlands 3 needs a double jump. Future Borderlands games need double jumps. And then they're literally perfect. I have to go to college Skipped yesterday because I was with my grandpa. Alright. Alright. Uh, okay, so let's go. You got the right jump pads? I never got the right oh, yeah, and jump pads too. Like, space jump pads, movement on one hand kind of sucks because it is a bit slower sometimes. On the other, it's really freaking good. The freedom to move pretty much however you want. Went to Germany. I'd like to travel the world some. Not okay, not travel the world. There's a few places I want to visit for museum ships, but that's it. Mostly in the U.S., but visiting Belfast and London, or not, not the U.K. Is it? I forgot where London, where Belfast is, the ship, not the place. Honestly, no clue where the place is, but I'll stop talking now. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Deadlift. Dude, it's a dot? Are you sure? Ugh, we all hate deadlift. Oh, right, he's nothing without a shoot. Oh. Belfast is in London, you're right. Hey, we got the rifle! Also, thank you, MJP. I appreciate the confirmation. Hey, we got the unique. I don't know whether to tell them to shut up out there or close my window. Eh, they don't register that much. Anyways, add that to your unique list. Save the freaking game. I'm not losing that. Yeah, uh, I'll go to sell my stuff, actually. 
it's yeah, it's worth nothing. Okay, so currently all we get is this. This is our only gun. We don't have a shield until later. I don't remember when. Oh, or both? Yeah, belt. Yeah, because I knew it was called a place. Or Belfast is a place as well. Northern Ireland. Cool. Yeah. But yes. Definitely talking about the ship. Is England your country? I live in the United States. And yeah, there are plenty of game stops. Can't use a shield. Yeah, that's Hunza, am I glad to say that? Pick it up. Now you've got the digistruct key, you can turn on one of my moon zoomies at the Dar Way Station. Get yourself there. I want like part of me wants to learn to play chess, but the other part doesn't because I already have so much going on. Yeah, a chest is also maybe a little bit too complicated for me. My smooth brain. Yeah, I think GameStop might be only in the US. Ooh. I forgot it's also Tesla. Also, you know what I just realized? Ground slamming is a legitimate technique because the Oz kit is unique. So, that's actually, that's a good point to put in my video. Ground slam spamming is a actual technique because unique Oz kit. I don't think this gives a unique. But might as well do it anyways, cause XP. Hmm. This is the last will and testament of Tom Thorson. Don I had an idea. Deadlift scabs are boarding my A rare idea. XP. Whoever finds this echo, please find it in your heart to honor a doomed man's last wishes. Just Sorry, I hit the mic. The um button when you're ready. Of course. I exist to help all of humanity. Be they dead or not. The Nova No Problem mission, I don't remember what it gives a reward, but I can use that Nova shield. I assume. If, if it's a normal Nova, then I probably can't. But if it's... I don't think it's unique, though. That's the thing I can't... We'll get there when we get there. If you manage to kill Nell, you could get a legendary. Uh... So, Nell spawns at level 30, if you spawn him here. So, yeah. If I manage. That's almost impossible. And in my legendary only run, I... So I came back here, I killed him. I got, uh, the Skull Masher, that's his dedicated drop on the first try. It flew off the map into the lava. Literally, when I was trying to bring him to a wall so he wouldn't drop it and it'd fly off, but no, it just had to. I mean, I didn't need it at that point, but still, I wanted it. The first time I've ever used the Skull Masher was in uh, Borderlands 1, the unique only run. I know it's a legendary, not unique, but I only used it for a few seconds just because I wanted to try it. Yeah, alright, so yeah, those are my next choices. <laughs> yeah, so Vault Hunter GXC is also great for health. That's why I think Claptrap was unironically a broken pick here, because he's just... 
yes, in in theory, he's a joke character. In practice, he's broken. Oh, whoops. I dare say Claptrap is actually pretty broken. <laughs> yeah, a full health regen on action skill start, not having oxygen, which isn't. Oh, whoopsies. Accidentally used Jacob's gun. I'll forget that happened. Not ever do it again. But I desperately need ammo. Yeah, so I basically just need to get back to uh, springs, then I can really continue. And that is the new Waldron. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. The new Waldron. That's an interesting name. But yes, thank you. A very balanced healing. Oh, it melee still hits me. I guess there's buzz axes? That was weird. Oh no, he's playing flat trap. I mean, that's what everyone is uh, wanted when I was talking about this run a while ago, and wants. Like, everyone wants Claptrap. A joke character, but unironically broken. And I'm gonna have a lot of explaining to you in the video on why that is. So I can help people understand. Yeah, Claptrap's actually a ton of fun, though. It's nice to not be playing my usual Jack or Wilhelm. Thank you for informing me of Captain Thorson's fate, I... Vault Hunter. Oh no. You Losing your notes. Respect, oh no. You have my respect. Once you've told the Colonel of my death, I'd like you to avenge me. It looks like Squat, Deadlift's Lieutenant, is oh, yeah. boarding my ship right now. If you could track him down and kill him, Boy. I'd appreciate it. Everybody, check out I need you to find a guy named Nell. I know that Nia is the best character you can play. Uh, do you mean Athena? Athena or Nisha? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused now. Nisha is the gunslinger, Athena is the gladiator, and hello, cheese puff. Yeah, please explain. Yeah, so. Uh, because I, both of them are really broken as well. Athena was probably my new favorite Vault Hunter in this game. Nisha is great as well. I can't even use that sail station. I mean, do I really need money though? Well, ammo maybe, but yeah. I don't really need money. Don't know why I'm hoarding all this stuff. Let me know if anything catches your eye. Oh, sorry for missing the stream. This been busy. You haven't missed any. This is my first stream since the borough ends. May it help you kill men. Come back anytime. Two. Run. Oh, Nisha's aimbot. Well, yeah. Nisha also has uh, dual pistols. Which is very fun, and her, uh, uh where uh, her bullet ricochet in her action skill. Nisha, my bad. Oh, 
They have my chinchilla. <laughs> Nisha's br yeah, Nisha is really good. I definitely agree with that. Now I'm can't find my nose. Now I'm scared. Hey, I did the jump without dying. Let's go. Because if I was going to have a first death, that would have probably been it. I would have not been surprised. Yeah, Nisha is very, very good. That's why she's my highest level vault hunter in this game. But I don't play enough pre-sequel. So... Athena would probably be my choice for a max level character. What I really like about pre-sequels that skill trees are unique. It's an Orbitron. It'll get you into I mean, I guess in every game there are... You know, very unique characters. Or unique skill trees. But, uh, yeah, pre-sequel has some really, really good ones. Like, <laughs> yeah, Aurelia's? <laughs> How we find it? Oh, yeah, the only thing, that's actually, funnily enough, the thing I don't like about Aurelia. It's a very unique play style, yes, but uh, you need more. You need multiple people for it. That's kind of my issue. I don't have. I rarely have multiple people. Maybe if I did. Uh. Seems excessive, but I like his energy. Maybe if I did a pre sequel playthrough, my dad. Again, I could do that and build. Springs, can you please open the chest? A, I gotta see. Okay. I hope that saved it at the save station there. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to help you. Okay. Now, theoretically, right? Okay, this is a unique. Awesome! So this is the first unique shield you can get. Torgo, yeah, Torgo for the shotgun next, but... <laughs> but this is the... Ooh, and the probe. The probe. The probe is a unique. Dang. Okay, I don't. I'm not doing Nova no problem because I don't want the moonstones. I want the shield. Wait, it doesn't. The, mission, the shield isn't a mission item, right? Wait, it shouldn't be, but uh, I'm not doing that. It's not worth the time. And pre sequel could add. I mean, I think pre sequel is really good, has a really good story. I just wish that 2K Australia didn't get shut down and they could have finished the other three DLCs they were supposed to make. Because, like, the pure quality of the Claptrap's DLC in this game is awesome. Imagine if they could have made more of those. Not the exact same, obviously. They would have had other ones, but imagine what those could have been. Yeah, you don't keep the probe. It kind of sucks. It's a moxie gun, and yes, I get healing from it, but I have lots of other healing sources. Yeah, somehow I saw that coming, and I knew the speed wasn't enough. I don't know why I didn't stop. Man, I hate vehicles in this game. I don't know if I should rage or cry about my notes. I do both. Why choose one when you could do both at the same time? Rage and cry. All right, let's let's try that again. All right, that's the proper boost. Why it? Didn't go proper boost? I'll never know. I hate that. I hate all the vehicle jumps in this game. It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't guaranteed death. And hello, Flint. You've made it. Don't know why that showed up. 
so late on my end. There is an unfortunate amount of refuse blocking my entry. All right. That's why I gave you the prod gun. Blast the dragons with it. They'll get angry and charge you. If you can lure them into the rubbish, they'll smash an opening for you. It's still holding. Get them to ram it again. How's it going? Pretty good so far. Besides that one very unfortunate death, but it kind of made sense. Pretty good. Now bring it back to me and I'll trade you a laser gun. Or you could destroy it for me and get a cool toy gun. Why? Now, normal person, well, either way, you should go for the torque shotgun because it's infinitely cooler. Uh, yeah, so 2 Chaos Australia, if they didn't shut down, would have made three other DLCs. That's what was promised with the season pass. Uh, yeah, imagine what they could have made. It would have been beautiful. It could have been beautiful. Uh, but which do you like more, pre-sequel or 3? It's hard to compare them. Pre-sequel, for like the characters, you know, it feels like Borderlands 2 pretty much. Uh, but pre-sequel has no endgame content. That's the only issue. No. It's good for a playthrough once in a while. That's it. Also, hello, Miss Marta. Mar... Mar... Marta. Hello. <laughs> yeah, have a good stream. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Muffin. <laughs> fix, <laughs> fix your sleep schedule. I know I can't. But yes, there's the Torg Mata. Obviously, over the laser gun, because I already have a laser. So. Yeah, Borderlands 3 has way better endgame stuff. Way better, kind of better movement. I really like pre-sequel movement as well. Yeah, so it's difficult to compare the two. <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to be a flying boss with melee. Yeah, and that's why I've always been concerned about trying this game with, like, grenades or melee only. Yeah, and fire starters, not... Yeah, I mean, fire, trying to start a fire without an atmosphere is kind of difficult, you know. No atmosphere and all. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you, Flint. I appreciate it. It's been going very good. I'm certainly not struggling yet, which is a great sign. And the run's actually been playable. And make it snappy. Chop, chop. Where did you learn customer service? You're a very rude mother trucker. You're in violation of the verbal... <laughs> I love Claptrap speaking to each other. You just got it's perfect. Ticket. But I said mother trucker. Oh, you just got another. I love rules. Like and your accent? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, technically everyone has an accent. I've never really considered me to have an accent, but I guess I do. I was thinking, because I replied in a YouTube comment yesterday, I have a really weird way of speaking. Mostly because uh, I'm learning Japanese, so I tend to say things more in a Japanese way of speaking than anything else. But, yeah. Also, yet again... Yeah. Gotta... <laughs> well, if I actually put effort into it like I should, it wouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I used to learn... Also, new two guns are gonna be... Too... Yeah, so the ice... Those are gonna be good. Good luck. Obey my commands. Ice cream? Yeah, okay, that's... It's gonna be so sad I have to pass up the class mod for ice cream, but I have to, sadly. Uh, but yeah, so for Japanese, I am... I can read and write hiragana and katakana, but I'm not good at speaking... Uh, most words. I can understand pronunciations, and I can actually usually understand how much... Most things are said, but yeah. Uh, 
Also, Jerjo, that's definitely in a foreign language, Jerjo Karat. I don't know. I'm def I definitely butchered that. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. And also, maybe confused with the ending of pre sequel. Yeah. Well, because the pre sequel is in between. Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, that. The Sanctuary ending. Right. So, yeah, it could have either been. That. But yeah, it made no sense because we didn't get anything for Borderlands 3. So. Also, wish me luck trying to beat a flying. <laughs> yeah, good luck. That's, uh. Yeah. Mixed with Shara is stupid, whatever. But he might know how to track down a signal. This guy's still pulling down. Yeah. Unless they're gonna pull out all of the stuff they didn't use from pre sequel in Borderlands 4. That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe it's just gonna become lost media. And it's just these games only. Who knows? And we gotta do whole Moxie sequence. That's fun. I guess there is one other person who can help us. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a while before I can use my shotgun. But oh well. Where the hell's Mox? Oh wait, wait, wait. Hey, you see those two on the dance floor? The tattooed chick. And if all of you didn't know, uh, finally, Lady Lug flips a freaking face card. Boom! Yeah, boomerang. Pretty funny. They're, uh... Hi guys. I uh, reference to Daft Punk, which is pretty funny. Ooh, four Moonstones! Let's go! Off to some games myself, wish you an amazing stream. Alright, have a good one, Maratha. I appreciate it. Okay, my favorite unique might be the Boom Corner. I I have not used enough uniques in this game to have an opinion. So we'll find out after this run. I'm definitely to get some sleep better. Alright, have a good one, Thomas, as well. Definitely get sleep. Cause I don't. I went to bed at like two o'clock yesterday and woke up at seven. Or last night. Went to bed at 2, woke up at 7. Ah. <laughs> uh. Then you gotta put transmitters on the echo towers around town. Get up high. Simple triangulation. It's okay though, I'm used to lack of sleep. I honestly work better the less I the less sleep I have. First I need you to pick up some moonstones mistakenly confiscated by the customs claptrap. Head over there and I'll update your echo. Yeah. It'll make sense. I didn't know how long I had to stay. That's the only thing I keep forgetting in these games. What I could have done for Borans 3 is perhaps have lost Atlas stuck on the outer edge of space. Let me meet up with me Atlas. It's a massive war queen. Well, I think, honestly, the Molly one and Atlas War is actually decent, but, you know, not perfect. But still, it's definitely an interesting concept. Store items you want to swap between other characters. Not sure why you put the moonstones there. Nothing ever changes. For the better, anyway. Never seen this before. Interesting. But yeah, it's tough. We'll see how they make it up in Borderlands Four. All right, give me the moonstones. Oh, that's right. I had the moonstones all Oh yeah. <laughs> Classic, huh? Seriously? Shame he doesn't ticket himself for stupidity. Pick up the moonstones and take them to the black market. Show the moonstones to the guy there and you'll get what you need. All right. I ordered a bunch of transmitters a while back, but I've been kind of avoiding this place. 
And I, so I think I'll get inventory and laser. Cause so I eat up laser ammo. What you want? I know that in this particular instance, I want to exchange. I know in this particular instance. I'll throw them in if you take some of this other trash off my hands. I also forgot how good Claptrap's lines are. All right, backpack, laser. Stones and he'll get what you need. What you want? <laughs> Love that guy. I'll hit your echo with the cohorts for the towers and manage things from here. When you get the first transmitter in place, uh, contact. I never remember the order. Springs Emporium O stuff. She's oh. out of town, so she won't be around to help. And I've got a connection, but it's not very stable. You mind giving it a whack for me? That's better. Give me a sec to get everything set up on this end. I still love the melee animation. That is the best thing ever. It's literally the karate clap traps from the Borons 1 uh, Robolution. It's awesome. Yeah, so you see what I mean about that girl? The signal. It's not coming from Concordia. Coords for the next tower on your echo. Oh, yeah. I mean, I should know this by now, considering how many times I've played this game, but I don't. I'm not focused. So I don't need to be. Oh, yeah. You could just suit. Okay. I'm not used to taking multiple shots to kill the switch. That is how bad my damage is right now. Well, okay, me with that. The shotgun might do it. And I hope more ones where they mention what happened to the Lost Legion, Athena, so... Yeah, at Jane... or Spring, sorry. Spring's in here. Some of the characters' tales in Borderlands 1. I hadn't... Yeah. Well, a lot of the Atlas troops, especially, they either became bandits or joined the Crimson Lance, so we, we know that's probably... Also, I'm stupid. I... Dead again. Yeah, I, I do not possess the skill or patience to play Souls games. Gonna do a quick save just in case. Uh, I. Place requires such. Specific movement, it's annoying. That's so listen, I'll send you a waypoint showing how I try that climb. You know, yeah, some nice like that. I get it, Moxie. I appreciate it, but I'm I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, Buzz X Ray of Page. <laughs> I'd probably be using a shotgun because I waste ammo by reloading because it's a TDR. That's the thing that annoys me about TDRs is when you reload with tons of ammo still in the mag when you don't need to. But you have to reload because you have to. You just have to. Scan to pinpoint the signals that's the yeah I was gonna say the one over there is the rocket launch it's this one then we can leave the signal appears to originate from crisis scar that's an old doll comms facility but nothing but scavs there for years all right we gotta exit here again, go shut it down uh, also, status updates still getting shot at, so if you wanted to hurry, I, cool. I wonder how Red and Belly are going to go. I think they're actually going to be pretty easy. Getting a shield is very nice this early on. Oh, what the hell is wrong with 
this guy. This is so frustrating. Get back to Moxie. She's got secret exits everywhere. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> if you're looking for Moxie Carver, she's not here. Really hard getting sucked when she's off in a secret workshop. Also, if I'm correct, all Broen's DLCs are canon, mean Claptrap has actually taken over Pandora. <laughs> so why did Hyperion not produce them to overwhelm their competitors? Good question. Ouch. Okay. Oh, hello, Laser Bin. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing in here? Whoa, you look different, and you're covered in robot blood. Damn, I really don't like people. <laughs> robot blood. I hate Dark says, but I love it. I yeah, it's a love hate game. Makes sense. Can you help? I know a way out, but I ain't. <clears throat> Won't. Show it. Ooh, maybe this would be a better. Anyone what you saw here. I promise, and I am incapable of lying. Deception.exe successful. Considering Moxie has a larger part in this game, one thing I wanted to add to videos for like a cri uh, clip of Future Diary, uh, because, fun fact, you didn't know, in Future Diary, or Mirai Niki, uh, in the English dub at least, the main character, or one of the main characters you know, is voiced by Brina Palencia, I think that's her name. And uh, she's the same voice actor, Shallow voices game. Moxie. So Moxie and you know, share the same voice actor. I'm just saying. I think it's pretty funny. Also, Payback Badass, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, what do we have here? All the little creatures. Does that give... Let me look it up. No, okay, all the little creatures doesn't give anything, so I don't need to do it. That's the mission I had to do for the legendary only run to get the flacker. But it's not necessary here. Good. how did they know about Yeah, I'll get back to you. What just happened? The whole ruddy moon shook. Yeah, so it's always thinking of a time I could put one of the one of Yuno's clips in. I'm thinking pre sequel might just be the run to do it. Yeah, so, uh, Gonna see some good. bro on his content control that control isn't annoying drama. Yeah, I've never really Score. been a drama so slash I'm news person. Uh, I love challenge runs, and that's why I literally that's the reason I'm I started making these videos. It's because I wanted to see more Borderlands challenge runs, or you know, runs like this, and thus, also T Zero Three Man. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I simply wish to gain entrance. Then prove yourself worthy of joining Red Belly's band of scabs. But yeah, so that's literally the reason I started making these videos because I wanted to see more of it. I have to say though, I think Claptrap has the best interactions in this game. Now that I really think about it, because he's he has such unique lines. That Nova is gonna be the death of me when it blows up a barrel sometime. Okay, this is legitimately kind of cool. Funzerker is so awesome. I and mean, yeah, I know it's because it's Gunzerker, but still. Uh, Demon 
And Balin, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. <laughs> for a second, it, my brain didn't register too at the same time, but thank you. I, I appreciate it a lot. Dang, I've been getting a lot of subs today. Actually, I don't know if they're live viewers, but they uh, might be from the Borons 2 video I just posted. Either way, very cool. I kind of forget about that. That, you know, YouTube subscribers, if I have the alert box on, it'll count all of them. Ooh, Ooh perfect. Uh oh. Ah, corrosive barrel. I swear. I also got to be careful about picking up grenade. Nice, died again. That's the other thing. Like, I can't play a game if I die too many times. I will rage quit and I'll stop playing. Not forever. Well, depends on the game, but. Yeah, that's why I usually play more creative free games. Like, I've been playing a ton of From the Depths recently because, well, I like building ships. Ooh. Well, the accuracy is so bad. Like, I can't even aim. <laughs> Dude, Claptrap is so fun. Yeah, and so... Obviously, I know my other videos besides Borderlands ones aren't that popular. I mean, yes, I completely understand people come to watch me for the Borderlands, that's it. But Agile Lane videos get pretty good, so... I like playing Agile Lane, I, I like making those videos. I know From the Depths does not do well at all, but I have an insane amount of fun building ships, so those are definitely going to keep coming. And so the next, because, you know, I release smaller videos in between the massive Borderlands ones. Next video is going to be Azure Lane, potentially. Depends if I figure out how to beat the boss, uh, the meta boss this time. Obviously, I like doing the monthly bosses. I like doing the meta bosses, too, but I literally couldn't beat the last one. Physically, I, I couldn't. She was too difficult. I got close a few times, but... You need Aurora for some reason. That's just how that fight works, and I hate it. You need an oddly specific purple Royal Navy ship. Also, I just realized how. Oh, that was too close. Also, I just realized how does Hyperion still exist in 3? I mean, the giant factory basically fell into Pandora and all their bosses are dead. Who's still... Yeah. That's a good point. Well, I mean... Okay, so yeah, they're... So the Helio Station is... I thought Helio Station was like their base, though. Not their... Headquarters. You know, their real headquarters is probably, you know anywhere else in the seven galaxies, so... There's six galaxies? And all the... Yeah, you, you get the point. Welcome to the gang. That's a gas mask's follower. No, uh, sound. 
I went for hot dog and incendiary genius. I think it's funnier. Yeah, I'm still salty, bro. I'm still remove. Wait, they removed like Pyrian pistols? Huh. I never even thought about that. Huh. Put the stinky on him. <laughs> Speaking of gas mask. I watched a video how to beat him by, man. Alright, good luck, your mother. Died <laughs> to a tree. Okay, anarchy. Yeah, this run is actually pretty chill because I have a shield. That was like the big issue. And Clapcraft's broken. Let's let's not forget that. <laughs> Dying to a tree. There are an odd amount of video games though where you can die to trees. Bye. Alright, good luck. Now that I really think about it. Also, e tech weapons disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, e tech are kind of just a one and off thing, which is weird to me as well. And yeah, basically, the only thing that really mentioned they exist was the, the Dr. Zed missions in two. Don't cry, oh. Don't cry, oh. <laughs> Claptrap lines are so good. Yeah, there are an infinite amount of mysteries. Honestly, I'd normally do that mission, but I don't think... Well, the Kragen XP is nice, so... I knew it was going to be two. <laughs> I guess they haven't really spun over there yet. Uh, and Mo yeah, and Molly one wa launchers. <laughs> I kind of didn't really think about it too hard, but yeah, there are a lot of guns that aren't there. Let's see. I don't even think using that's worth it. Mini traps here. You think he's sleeping? <laughs> oh no, he's not breathing, so he's definitely. <laughs> right. Well, see if he left tonight. Check her pockets, will ya? Ah, oh, she left an echo. Maybe that'll tell us more about the sorry tale. What do you reckon? Oh, also in Bruins Three, yeah. I've gone walkabout. Why is an Atlas of any oh, warship so exactly? Oh, like, how are they capable of space travel? Where are your ports? I mean, I guess... But, like, they should have definitely had some. From the, uh... You know... The Lance. 
watched as my billy boiled. Then up leapt the jumbuck. I grabbed him with glee, and I shoved him in me tucker bag. But then I returned from the distant land, and I went, and I lost it camp. Yeah, so him. much inconsistency. I also really like the Australian voice actors. Such a great game. Not enough content. That is literally the only issue with it. In my opinion. Hello, cool smo. Ooh. Uh, what will you give me, game? Light. Ah, yes. Fire? <laughs> the grind rate came out. Thank you very much. I didn't... I don't get notifications for kick. Thank you. Wait, let me check that. Actually, yes. Kick. Oh, 14 viewers! Wow! Thank you very much, Cool Smo. I can only have like one notification thing at a time in the alert box, and it's YouTube. So thank you very much for the raid, for the host. I'm not used to kick. I stream on multiple platforms, so... But yes, I intend to keep up the grind. These Borland's videos do very well. Pre-sequel does oddly well too. It's my second most viewed after the Borderlands 2, but we'll see how long the new Borderlands 2 video takes to overtake it. All right, turn this in just for the XP. I mean, I had no reason to do this mission. I just like killing all those Kragans. I really like the Torgmata, such a good weapon. Especially for a challenge like this. Wait for the dialogue. I can just tab out. Mm, I should. Have... Oh yeah, I should definitely have the activity feed because I don't get stuff from that. Maybe Twitch. Uh... Yes, that'll go there. I keep forgetting to put kick activity feed. Uh, it sucks we don't even have any boss. Yeah. Yeah, where are all of the other ships that we know about in this universe in 3? <laughs> I, I got stuck on something there for a second. That was weird. I think the best part about playing Claptrap is not running out of oxygen, though. It's... This whole area is so annoying on every other character just because you have to worry about your oxygen. So nice to not have to. Also, Cool Smo, thank you for following. I just realized that came in now for some reason. I really wish I had this up earlier. I need to uh, put that on a list to do when I start streaming. I'm just not used to multi-streaming. It's been so long. Cryo. Funzerker. Funzerker is so much fun with these shotguns. But, yeah. Pokemon is awesome. I always seem to at least get fight for my life here. Oh, the laser turrets. Those certainly don't help. <laughs> good, good idea. 
You see me wipe out your shirts and you let me in. Makes sense. Uh, okay. I hate Buzzax Rampage, but... Especially when I get cryoed out of nowhere. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. I did a challenge. Bob Trap's challenge lines are pretty fun as well. The cryo still hits. Elemental barrels, man. I should have probably action skilled there. I could use this as just pure torg reloads. You know, okay, good. But I think it's fun trying to keep them tracked with the blazer. Another freaking cryo barrel, man. Yes, perfect. Come on, turret. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, that is so unlucky. And that technically would have been my first death if it weren't for the uh, vehicle. Pre okay, so technically uh, pre-sequel happens in between one and two. It actually explains how, or the reason two doesn't have laser weapons and thus three. It's because of a deal uh, between, or, well, basically Marcus. Marcus is the reason we don't have laser weapons. I forgot what the, one of the loading screen tips says that, so we gotta watch out for that. Yeah, something to do with Marcus. I assume we'll see it on a loading screen soon enough. Man, that guy's hot. Also, you know, wait, I took off the class mod, right? Yeah. Just like all the other runs, no class mods. Because, at least as far as I'm aware, there are no uniques. Unless there is one, then we'll be using it. Yeah, if that baddie did that much damage, I'm a little bit concerned about Red and Belly. But, killing them is required to uh, proceed with the story, so... Yeah, I don't really have a choice in the matter. Bullet reflection? Thank you. But yeah, so there's a good reason for... Borderlands 2 and 3 not having laser weapons. I mean, there's not, but since pre sequels made after 2, you know, they had to explain that somehow. There's another barrel. Oof. Oh, I was hitting the barrel. I thought I was hitting the enemies behind the door. Death. I said death. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Maybe the Novas? Ooh, actually the crit damage! Oh, 
I really, the only thing I have an issue with is not being able to throw the buzz axe. After playing Krieg, I'm so used to being able to throw buzz axes. And uh, having buzz axe bombardier, even better. One of my favorite skills. All right, definitely re-ammo. In the meantime, since also the game saved, uh, I need to BRB for a minute, so I'll be doing that. I'm back, but out of water, so I might BRB again sometime soon for water. Anyways, red and belly. How's it gonna go? I don't know. Could be either. They just got melted. I didn't really expect that. I guess it's, you know, action skill anarchy. Oh, wait, wait, are they alive? <laughs> There's the striker. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna head out. Catch a ride! All right, alien. I hope, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Have a good one as well. I'm honestly not even surprised I got the striker. Did I get it first try on the pre-sequel run, or did I have to farm for it? Because I can't remember. But I'm not really surprised. But can't use it because I've already done a legendary only run. I wonder how that explosive skill would work with lasers. Or if it literally won't synergize because it's a laser. I don't have any unique grenade mods yet. Oh great, it's busted. Head up to the roof, there should be a maintenance 
console there. Activate it. Uh, it's also going to be nice to do this without having to worry about my oxygen. Because this... Oh, ooh, that was close. This section sucks when you have to worry about your oxygen. And you gotta deal with the jets and the turrets. Dude, what gun is that? That thing hurts. Alright. Alright, so I guess it just randomly does explosive damage then. Uh, not randomly. It's, uh, it's 7% each level, so... Hmm. I mean, yeah, you can see the yellow damage in there. Oh, you're not getting away. Can I get... <laughs> Hey, yeah, congratulations, I beat the boss, I bought a bow. Congratulations, your mother. For, Paul, for playing Dark Souls in the first place. Oh, great. Because now that you said bow, I feel like playing with a game with a bow and arrow. Great. Oh, uh-oh. Just shoot to stay alive. That's... I want to save something as a revive. That jet fighter stays over there. Maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. Laser. <laughs> Fine. Awesome. That went really well. I'll meet you in Concordia. Save the game. I've crashed at that part in one of my solo runs. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt him till we find out what the deal is. I also like to get some more ammo in case there are more enemies in the way up. I X. <laughs> my Xbox is loud AF. It's funny because my computer is normally silent because I have a really nice computer. But a few days ago, my uh, CPU cooler started dying. And so now it makes this. It's gotten louder. That's not a good sign. Uh, this clicking noise. It's getting louder. And so it's definitely dying. I know it is. So I bought a replacement. It comes on Sunday. It is Thursday. So uh, I hope my CPU lives till then. Actually. Hmm. Doesn't go above 90. I think I'm okay. I hope I'm... So I didn't realize it, but yeah, it's uh starting to heat up. It's not horrible, but you know, I don't I have to look up what like the safe temperature is before it You know, it's like really concerning. Then come meet me when I fast travel down. So I don't need to do that. I I think I have to, well, 
I don't know if I'll do grinders, because I don't really need the grinder for anything in this run. Can't make a... Uh, uh caught. What was I just saying? Yeah, it can't get uniques from the grinder. Wherefore art thou, that's... Recording of the Marif talking sexy to Serena, the custom bot's favorite squeeze. Nah, that wouldn't work. Perhaps we could blackmail the Marif with that smutty recording we have of him with that geisha bot. Yahtzee, nah. let's go find happy. Maybe the, the boss would be happy to. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's nice when you can finally beat a boss you've been struggling with forever. I played a Terraria Calamity mod a bunch. I'll say, I definitely talked to him. And I understand, like, how annoying it is. I'll say, I'm gonna save my Moonstones. Like, I used 9,000 souls to beat him and got 10k in return. Stonks. And so after this... Then we unlock a ton of missions, and I think I can probably get another unique or two. Who uses lasers anymore? And we also get Nurse Nia's mission for the assault rifle, so definitely going to need to do that. My credit score. And according to my records, the Marif doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activity. Literally. It's morally justifiable. Awesome. Hey, I'm with you, pal. Stonks. He's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I I've been impersonated by I got the moonlight. Butterfly soul for fossil of my life. I, I assume that's a rare and good item, because uh, I've never played Dark Souls before, or a Souls like. They're waiting for me. I, like I said, I don't. I'm not good enough to do games like that. I'm more of a creative person. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! I'm only getting fun, Zerker. Lasers are too inaccurate. The voices are back. But... <laughs> Maybe someday... For now, I have Borderlands.
Yeah, I always like saying let me in because like, there's so many parts where you're just waiting for someone to open a door in these games. The Merith. I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She might be doing it. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. And so after this, we're probably going to be doing a bunch of side quests for Uniques. I surrender. I was gonna let you live, you dumb bastard! What is... His ex, Yummy. Master plan. Still like the Helios is gonna need an army, so we may still like to see <laughs> Claptrap repeat himself. Stay here, gonna go through the yeah, considering there's only the one DLC, I love playing. There's one DLC, and I love it, it's my favorite DLC in the series. I definitely plan to do it. Oh, can't wait to see. Well, there are actually a few uniques in the Claptastic Voyage, I know one. My favorite one comes from the Minac. He gives a really good... I think it's like a Hyperion laser. And it does, I think, like shock fire and corrosive. It's a really fun weapon, so I can't wait to get that. I'm hyped to yeah, if I want. I'm so happy to beat the boss. I only did 30 damage with the attack. For some reason, yet to become clear, that laser persists in fire. Moxie said you're after some military AI. Um... I mean that ooh actually I should do that mission so I can be in that area for a enemy that spawns there. And then Nurse Nina's mission for the icicle? Or the ice cream. Ice cream, I think is what it is. Or a shotgun, but I want the assault rifle. Grinders are brill machines. Based on some dial tech that came my way a while back, they take random pieces of... Hey there. Hello, Savage Killer. Uh, Ready for it? A stingray. It's old dial tech. They're not much to look at. Oh. What are uniques? Oh god, get out, get out of my car for that. In Borderlands games, unique weapons are generally uh, weapons or gear with red text. That's why people consider legendaries uniques. But the uniques I use are generally blue and purple. Rarely green, but I think greens are only in Borderlands 1. Uh, but anyways, they're usually like one-off items from missions. Rarely there will be a, like a world or a enemy that you can farm from a mission that can drop a unique. Uh, Pre-sequel has a few world drop uniques. Yeah. And so I'm limited to a, a very small number of gear and that's all I can use for this run. Just trying to see how difficult it is. Alright. Uh, Mm -hmm. Vehicle combat, right? I forgot. I forgot the ruled out vehicle combat. You're just gonna stand there. Why would you give me Buzzax Rampage against a vehicle? Actually, that's oh, not bad. Uh, so, a speeder into all the trophies in 27 hours. Bang. I keep meaning to try, you know, like an all achievements, all quests run sometime. Also, stunks went up like this. Yeez.
I'm updating your echo now. Go kill those crook sons of tanks. I did some for yeah. It'll be nice to get a new laser weapon. So I gotta check the mission list. Ooh, perfect. Get back down here. Deception is very nice though. Seriously, can we not fly? That is actually one of the only really annoying things about this game. The amount of flying enemies. The normal enemies. Can Claptraps climb stairs in pre-sequel? Yes. They can double jump too. They can jump. They can double jump. Why Claptrap can't climb stairs in 2? Who knows. I guess he must have lost it after he lost his frag trap programming. Alright, so... So the Zappinator is unique. So, let's add that to the list. That looks like one of them fancy laser weapons. Let's take it for a spin. The local scavs are getting a little too pillagey of late. Let's see how this gun goes against them. Now we can bring it back to Concordia. Ooh. Wait, did I get Nurse Mia's mission? Yes. I forgot the ice drill. Uh. Alright, let's go kill some scabs with the assault rifle real quick. I was gonna do it here, either way, but... Oh, no, Jack ripped him off of it in the credits. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was close. Dude, I hit F. I hit action skill. But then we stood. Next to cryo barrel. Really? really? The one thing I couldn't, I literally can't use right now. go back to get the mission too. So let me go do that. Maybe the scabs will respawn there. If not, I'll go to the other place. But again, you gotta do it in an oxygen environment. Which is a little annoying. Right in flats. So, do the indoor guys respawn? Maybe not. Yeah. I mean, I knew it that fast of uh, travel would not have respawned them. Alright, I'll go to the other place. Then I'll do a bunch of ice holes. Then I can go back to Concordia and turn in both. Yeah, it's just a nice bonus to try and get all five ignited. Moonscraper's so fun. A ton of the uniques in this game are so much fun. 
The one I'm looking forward to, because I just, I remembered it, was the one that the Minac gives in the Claptastic Voyage. I swear, I... This is gonna drive me mad. I'm so high from oh, paying Dark Souls to give me my whole career. I... Yes, shock, you know, cycling... Oxygen things is a cool mechanic, but it's really annoying if you have Nova Shields. That shocks and has like zero capacity or have a shock weapon. I might as well take my vehicle back, go to the top of the other place, kill all the enemies, travel back. Or no, wait, yeah, I do. Also, that was a moonstone, I know, but. Yes, bunch of frozen or bunch of ice holes. All right, I'm gonna call it already. By the way, I uh, I'm gonna bet that the giant cryo sugaroth is gonna drop a zim. You know, the thing I tried to farm a hundred times in the other run, it's gonna drop it this time for sure. It's also nice not worrying about oxygen. Ooh, Blight Bot's actually decent. Ice, you wanna hurry up there? Yeah, I forgot it. Burst fires. Do that man dream about dream about Dark Souls. Oh no. Alright, have a good night, your mother. <laughs> dream about Dark Souls. Oh no. Hello, Sleepiest Slinky. <laughs> Sleepiest Slinky. Awesome name. What's up? I also just realized the challenge for getting laser criticals is called aggressive LASIK. LASIK. That's hilarious. I so used the other gun where it's TDR, so I don't want to reload it, but no, this one is... Oh. I'm about to give you trauma from that dream. Also, I don't remember the last time I've had a bad dream. I don't, you know, I don't remember most of my dreams, but they're always weird. I mean, aren't everyone's though? Can't wait to just kill that sugar ass. Good. Get eyes, eyes. Good. Put drill somewhere new. One more time. Dark Souls prepared to die. Yeah. Deliver me that special ice and I'll give you a bolt of shotgun. I play most of the games that I play on easy difficulty, easy or medium. I'm not good at hard mode in games.
Ooh, awesome. One of the few times Blightbot's actually useful. All right, no uh, legendary. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. The run has been really good so far. It's going infinitely better than the last one. Both of my deaths were very unfortunate. But yeah, I am chilling. Deadlift wasn't that bad. He actually dropped his laser, because apparently it's not a guaranteed drop, so that's nice. Also, I should start that. Also got Striker from Red Belly first time, but can't use it because unique only. I've already done the legendary only. So yeah. Good times all around. Oh, well. I don't want to do ladies, or I don't want to do vehicle combat in vehicles. I'd rather use guns, so I'll just avoid that for now. Thankfully, that is one of the nice things about this game. There isn't much vehicle combat. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not even, like, required. There's just vehicle driving that's required. I just found out Moonlight. Oh. <laughs> Optional boss. Oh no. <laughs> you know what? Crazy got me. Oh, you're Baby Yoda! Well, it's been quite a while. But, yeah, it is how it works. You know, you watch other people play games, then you want to play that game. Dang. Yeah. It's been a very long time since I streamed Phantom Forces, Apex, most other games. My channel really blew up after I started making Borderlands stuff, so that's kind of what I'm sticking to now. Also because I genuinely enjoy playing it. Borderlands is on a controller so easy. I mean, I grew up playing Borderlands on a controller, so... I'm used to it. I prefer mouse and keyboard, but that's just me. I'm a mouse and keyboard person. My dad is a controller player. Oh, get back here. Oh, yes, you. No. Those were good crits. I have to... <laughs> You call yourself a badass? Alright, got all scavs, got a bunch of extra XP too. Let's go to Concordia. Yes. Yeah, I generally, well, most games I play nowadays are because of videos I've watched on them. Alright, let's get Nina's first, just to confirm that. Um, I'll probably replace the shotgun. Oh, huh, never mind. I'll do that. Actually, once I turn in the mission. The ice scream. But yeah. And I'll get the uh, crybaby later on. That's probably end game. I've been tinkering with them. So now it's a cry... Two cry weapons. Um... Hmm. I'd rather use the assault rifle over the laser, but I need this for a mission. Made a few frosty adjustments. And I'm not gonna count... Okay. Here's what I wonder. This is gonna be a critical decision. Actually, no, I'm not. Okay, so... I'll note that in, note this in the video. It's only because the Zapnir it technically changes elements, but it's essentially the same gun every time around. So yeah, keep that in mind. I'd love to see what it does to Torx now. Another of Elpis's deadly denizens. Want to give it a field 
test and help clean house a bit in the process? Yeah, I want to use this exit, I believe. Yeah, count some of the. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm for sure crazy. You have to be to be able to play a game like that. Two arms. Can't use legendaries. Not today. Uh, don't know if I can make that jump though. Guess I gotta respawn my vehicle. But yeah, I much prefer games where I can just be creative and do whatever I want. That's why I played so much Minecraft, obviously. That's why I also play uh, From the Depths a lot now. I used to play a ton of Terra Tech and build really crazy techs in there, but from the depths, infinitely better. This new challenge use only explosive guns or one element. Hmm. Interesting. Wait. Oh, I accidentally hit my mic again. Where is... I'm writing that down. Thank you. I have an entire list of ideas that I put into. <laughs> if you had to do Dark Souls stream, say I made you crazy to all your friends. A bold of you to assume I have friends. I mean, I'd like to think I do, we just haven't talked in a long time because they have like college and lives. <laughs> Imagine having a life. But I mean, this is my life, Liberation and I'm happy, so. And if I can increase, if I can keep making money from YouTube, make it my full-time job, well, it is my full-time job, basically, but anyways, yeah, YouTube is my dream job. YouTube streaming. Take a chill pill. Honestly, I will be using the assault rifle. Oh, I actually picked up grenade mod. That's no good. And yeah. <laughs> 30 hours? Come on, those are rookie numbers. I have... It's probably like, it's gotta be like around 1,200 hours on World of Warships at this point. And should I even bother with these guys? Probably not, but... I think I also have over 900 hours on Oxygen Not Included. Oh, on, yeah, on Dark Souls. Also, yes, thank you. Mini? Mini me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, still 30 hours in a game, that's not much in a game. Nah, I'm just kidding. I understand if you don't have time for it. Like, I say, you know, I have... I probably have a thousand plus hours in, you know, Minecraft throughout my entire life. Maybe in Borderlands as well. But then you got those people who have, like, thousands of hours in CSGO and stuff. I could never do that.
Oh wait, yeah, I meant to go hit the switch over here. Where is it? Oh. So I want to see, I've gotten the machine from this chest before, so maybe I could get it again. Unlikely, but it's worth a check. That's... no. It's Vlad off, so... <laughs> oh my... yeah. Yeah, everyone has thousands of hours on Minecraft. It's almost guaranteed. Uh-oh. I desperately need more ammo, though. <laughs> uh, um, Borderlands, I won't even say it's way too high. Yeah. Because I played, you know, all the games on different platforms, so... And Xbox doesn't record your numbers, sadly, so... question is rooster is is rooster boosters stuff gonna yeet off the map as it usually does probably knowing my luck If you ever play Dark <laughs> oh, I love I for how much fun freezing enemies is. How do you get when does Mag or what's his name? Oh you gotta find the grinder, right? Then Rooster Booster comes out. Bonsai. Pieces and get the recombiner matrix out of it. Luckily, they're tough bits of tech too. Crap! It's tougher <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> Just what we need to crack open that stubborn. Oh, oh no! Oh oh oh! Hey! It didn't fly off the map for once. Once in a lifetime. Worst part of the challenge is that you must have all guns. Distance, set that detonator, and we'll be good to go. Valid choke? I, I I don't I don't know any jokes. Oh, place detonator. <laughs> Forgot that. Um I don't know. I'm better. I'm more of a meme person. I'm better with memes and stuff, but like, I, I don't know. I'm not naturally funny. Actually, you know what? I had an idea. I was just thinking of it. It's pretty funny too. Something about the shield. The it's called the rapid release. I'm thinking of something for the video with it to make a joke out of that somehow. I'm thinking 
something like the jokes will just write themselves or something. I'm gonna make a joke with that for sure though. I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna write it yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty funny. Oh, wait, we gotta. I hope I didn't kill too many. If not, I could reload the zone. I can't have them break my shield, because if they do, then, uh... They'll die of shock damage and not freeze. Come on, just two more and... Oh, you know, I just realized there. I still gotta do all the little creatures too. Perfect. Not so cocky now, eh, Tor? Nice work, Vault Hunter. Swing by. I've got another fantastic idea that's both constructive and destructive. Plus, I need to reward you for being my shooty, smashy assistant. Ah, yes, Swagman. Thanks, game. I like using Buzzax Rampage in here for sure. Ah, oh, come on. He drops a sniper, but it's not the wet week. That's a little annoying. I, I, I hate spiralings. are harder to kill than the queen spiders. <laughs> Didn't have to buy more yet. You don't have to buy more if you just run out to put in a new gun. Uh, kind of. I could always swap my shotgun. All right. Oh, there's more than one button. You'll have to input the correct sequence to shut off the flow. Is it left? No, that's not. Is it like left, right, or something? Hey. Didn't take that much effort. Good work. Now the slime is gone, cuties are free to emerge and frolic with abandon. Navigate that disgusting waste and go save the cuties. Goodness, what on earth are those? I don't like them. So, yeah. Cute at all. Salvador is broken. Also, because there's like a ton of bugs with all of his, you know, weapons and stuff. So there's crazy. Powerful interactions. Sounds like something big is in that container. Stop that one, it's getting away. Get it, get it. That one's even more disgusting than the smaller ones. Kill it. Hack it to pieces. I was gonna say, don't tell me it gets stuck in the Speaking of Salvador. Oh, wait till I stop firing. Really on chat is a minute. And it, it, it was really low earlier. It just, it, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it, sadly. I was going to say, can, can you go into that pipe? All right. Also, or save. 
And John of all trades, thank you for subscribing as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Why are there... Why are they all level 7s over here? Alright, return to springs. And then I think we get a unique Torg weapon from the last quest in this line. So let's go do that. Why? Why did I just stand to refill my oxygen? I'm playing Claptrap. I guess for the double jumps, but still. My brain is slow. A little bit too much recoil. Alright, back to Concordia. That's two arms, no, pop racing. Go check if that gives you unique real quick. I don't think so, as far as I'm aware. Nope. All right. Then, whoops, okay. Then I can continue on with the story. I just realized I could have just traveled from the fast travel, but oh well. I don't like because I need to turn this in here. Never mind. Great work. We both hit the karma jackpot out there. Uh, neither of those are any use. I literally only did it because I was there. Maybe I find a funny flacker. I can do both grinders and zapped while I'm here. When he pops so hard, I roll all spell out of my bed. Ah, uh, I gotta wait for her to move over there. See old Bessie over there? Some of the unassembled linkage in the recombiner matrix is in her. Let's see if that does the trick. I did a challenge. I did a challenge. Yes. Gotta wait for this before I can talk to her. These babies can, if you're lucky, spit out nice shiny equipment, but you have to know what to put in them first. Kind of like a recipe. The bit rate went down to three fifty nine. Rip bit rate. Sweet, eh? I've got some old Give me. Uh, I don't even quiet. I'm just quiet. I'm quiet. I like doing my own thing. Out of sight, out of mind. Though I do remember someone telling me using moonstones will ensure you always get the best possible items out of them. Well, I was going to tweak the game. Of rounds, tons of fun. Though you'd need to watch where you fire the thing. But change of plan. I've got it doing corrosive damage. Want to give it a go? Please? Yeah. Tops. Here you go. Handle with care and all that. I uh, recently took delivery of some claptrap units. Turns out the bloody thing's main processes are totally fried, which yeah. will explain why they were so ruddy cheap. Anyway, put them out of their misery, would you? I don't want it! If you want, don't worry. That'll be some residual data. That clap is a total vegetable. Oh. <laughs> or mineral. Yeah. 
Can I remember? Sir, if I died at this corrosive dot? Dude, why does it last so long? Oh wait, I'm cloud trap, that's why. Right. Good job. Come on back. I'll give that laser one last tweak and you can keep it. Now hold on one mother minute. Pew, 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 light guns? Seriously? Want a real weapon? Feel Yes. Other nice thing is not having to uh, worry about auction for this mission too. You get to to see how it looks like Claptrap gets downed. I assume he just falls because there's no animation. Clappy bird. Forgot it like cancels <laughs> Clappy Bird. Yeah. Here we get to see the rare and exquisite Clappy Bird. I love how Mr. Torg also gets his guitar. What if I use that Ambassador of Explosives line? Ooh. She's all level two. Alright. I assume we get this from Concordia. I think it might be Springs. Torg would be a good boss. Torg would be a great Vol Hunter. That's why I'm excited for that Torg, Borderlands 2 Torg playable character mod. I oh, asked yeah, the mission board. Easy Wombat. so it dealt shock damage. You could have used it to quickly take down an enemy's shields or make him dance funny. Oh well. <laughs> While I'm here, I think I'll buy assault, maybe two assault rifle SDs and a shotgun. Depends on how much I have. It's odd that I haven't gotten a pistol yet. Shotgun. Backpack. Torg is indeed a badass. I agree. Back to Triton Flats. Let's 
see. So we got pop racing and recruitment drive. Yeah, okay, so none of those are good. It'll also be nice to get Zarpadon's pistol from the Drakensberg. Can I make that? Barely. Hmm. Don't like the Claptrap's buzz axe, but it is what it is. Ah. Well, yeah, considering. Well, actually, we don't know how rich Torg is, but I mean, he's definitely got to have some money. They don't die to this jump as well. And I've been able to hack their system to copy a fresh plan over, so you'll be able to digestruct these anywhere from now on. Now get your backside to see Pickle. Though feel free to get a feel for her first. See what she can do. Now nope, I only really care about getting to Pickle. Probably. Oh, it's always so dicey. Outlands Canyon. along with everyone on Elpis and most of those living on Pandora below. I've seen you fight, and I respect your skill. If you agree to leave now, I will send you an interstellar ship. We will not follow you. Think it over. Pretty good deal. Why didn't you take it? What do you think we were? A bunch of mustache twirling villains. Jack hired us to kill bad guys. I really like the explosive damage with a non-explosive weapon. Cloud trap is a ton of fun. Um, this is a long hat. Oh yeah, I saw the. I've seen the the long hats. Yeah, that was. I've seen that. It's awesome. Long hat and stairs, or the ladder flip. Yeah, I always forget the Dell training grounds there too. Like, I literally forget about it every playthrough. <laughs> I didn't know it was there for basically my entire life until a few years ago. This is gonna be epic. People will sing songs about this slammer jam. Uh, kids got spear. Game time. I'm fixing to perform the most badass in this slam dunk in the history of the game. But I lost my lucky ball. Could you find it for me? Little skip. Looks like the ball hunter's bullets are making a full court press into that bad guy's face. That's how you play the game, friend. You gotta go hard, take it to the hole, and get what's yours. The ball hunter found your ball, Dunks. Excellent play. Team effort. Bring it back here, and we'll take All right. the game hey, to the next level. Clack, we were... <laughs> now it's time to slam and jam. Dunks is lining up. I mean, you never know. Have dubbed the ultimate slam dunk. Let's do this. Basketball. <laughs> he really believed in himself. 
Dunks Watson has jumped so high he broke Elvis's gravitational pull. A truly monumentous day for Bebo. All right, I can do it while on fire because I'm clock trap and I have a shield. With Dunks gone, fantastic. You don't need a ball, just jump up into the air and Oops. slam down on that hoop to complete the most slam jamminess Bebo dunk in history. If you could do so while engulfed in flames, that oh. would be even more slim. When... And I only want to see one B ball player on the court at one time. The glory huh? of this slam jam can't be split amongst the team. Me, powered by air. He or she is on fire! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's sad. Ah, where do I respawn? I knew my health was too low. I start at the beginning, seriously. Ah, man, this mission's annoying. Yeah, you actually have to slam. I can definitely do it while on fire. I just need to have my shield, or full health too, because... Ouch, yes indeed. But at least that is more fire barrel I can put in the video. Alright. Don't know why it failed the other... T well, okay, because I... Third time's the charm. Perfection. But yeah, it's this song that also plays during the Claptrap Pirate canon. What is this one? Well, I wanted to check it. What can I say? It's talent. Some people learn b-ball. I was just born with it. I took it to the hole and I dominated. Huh. Wise words. Wait, so let me see. Because I feel like it's... In YouTube Audio Library. I feel like I have it starred. Back to you, voice in my head. Good night, Matt. Ha! <laughs> I come back, I'll rewatch the stream goodnight. Getting a new series of brides cause sleep. Alright. Good night, your mother. Have a good night. <laughs> I was gonna say have a good rest, but Yeah, I'm losing it. Alright, so yeah, I just wanna check. One second. If it's what I think it is, starred. It's no. Is it eighteen twelve overture? Yes, it's 1812 Overture. That's what I thought it was. Awesome. 1812 Overture. Bye, man. Good night. Good night, your mother. Hmm. Oh, cool.
All right. Why would, or what are your thoughts? Man, I I shouldn't count that, but I guess I have to. As distracted talking to family, anyways. Um, but like a perma damage resist run that just sounds horrible. And there aren't many bosses that have a elemental resistance, so I don't think it's very possible. You know, because you'd have to go out of your way to get every element, and then... So yeah, it's not that interesting in my opinion. Also, you guys with Eh, well, no, the tens might not even be worth my time. Actually, though... There is one enemy I'm looking for here. Because uh, the swag man also spawns here, too. He usually appears around here somewhere. Hello, swag man. Hey, I got it. The wet week. Cool. Oh! Uh, two wet weeks. How do I want to do this? He technically dropped two? I'm not going to count duplicates because I didn't count the laser, but uh, definitely going to note that in the video. Slightly better though. Slow projectile speed though. Just not great. But fire weapon. Wonder I can probably get Oh no, not to the Drakensburg. Cause that's you gotta do that whole I wonder how far I can get, because I'm leaving the well, ending stream at 5.30, so they're not 5.35. Uh, 30 minutes from now is what I meant to say. I'm back. Hey, Thomas. Welcome back. Like, do I even waste my time with these guys? No. If I'm low health, I just... Ability. Someone died to my Nova, though. That's hilarious.
Stretch. Honestly, talk to him. Yes, I desperately need to stretch. Spring says you're trying to get your mitts on some military AI. Well, it's your lucky day. You can half inch one from the Drakensberg. I hear the bosun and the skipper who run that place are well known collectors of rare and nifty intelligences of the artificial persuasion. Trouble is, it's not like much better. You just walk right up to the place and ask to have an AI. I'm programmed to be foolishly optimistic in situations such as these, so I totally can. Cocky, eh? Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but maybe they'll let you on board right off the bat. I'm updating your echo with the most direct route there. Truth is, I've had my eye on that. All right. And you going in for a bit of a look see would let me do a bit of shopping. How far can I get in 30 minutes in this level? It mostly just depends if the enemies are... 11? So yeah, I'm gonna need ammo for this because man, it chews it up. It's a good gun though. Shotgun might be good for Kraken as, as well. That's why it would be nice to have three weapon slots, but oh well. It's two. Oh, it's. It's two shots. I mean, that's what I was kind of hoping for. It works perfectly. And just like the bronze to run, I'm really developing a new appreciation for uh, Nova Shields. They're actually really good. This gun is awesome as well. Secondary explosions are good, but they're also deadly. Because, yeah, the Nova there was great. Finishing the kill there. Oh, he didn't die? Ooh, Armored Outlaw, we don't like you. Hmm. Anarchy will be great for the... Knowing that I have to reload after one shot, though. And I can get second wind, which is nice. The only issue with Claptrap's melee is it's so low range. It's crazy. Hmm. That cry was really annoying. I don't want to go back to the assault rifle. 
shotgun is basically just good for the Kragans. Ah. Roll reversal. I froze him instead this time. See, like a normal uh, character would melee that guy there, but Claptrap's melee is range low range. Which, yes, completely makes sense, but... I'm used to, like, Nisha and Athena who have long-range melees. I need ammo. Meat confetti! I should have used my action skill. It's a baddie too. That's unfortunate. I should use my action skill. Like I knew, I heard the Jacob sniper. I was cryoed, but my brain didn't. My brain thought I, I can, I can win. All right, let's try that again. That thing hurts, man. All right. I gotta cross the bridge first. Right, right. Ahoy, land lover. You look a little too much like trouble. How about you leave? And we go to the control room. What do you say? Ha! Called it, didn't I? I was totally wrong, which is super normal. Do you have an alternate plan to reach the dragon's birth? Glad you asked. The bridge has a manual override nearby. I'm uploading its location. Can't use here. class mods. Is that the squealing little thief pig guy here? All right. Listen, you and the kids should stay away. That would be I just blew up the only bridge. How are you going to get across deadly lava now? That was our only bridge too. I need you to dump the methane from the reservoirs into the lava. We'll create our own path by cooling it off. This is gonna be ace! I'm warning you, kid. You and your pet folk. <laughs> is that your brilliant plan? <laughs> Just a bump in the road is all. Yeah, we gotta go. I wonder if... Yeah, I could probably finish the pumping stations today. All oh, right. The pumping station. That'll do the job. Uh, and by we, I mean you. Ooh. This is where shotgun shines. Dragons. as they are very much weak to explosives.
Oh yeah, I should probably ammo up while I'm here. I love this place, so many kragans. Get an explosive weapon, and it's just a kraken slaughterhouse. Or kragan, yeah. <laughs> Krag gone. Alright, good. That was the secondary explosion. Swap back again to the ice scream. I tried to use my action skill, but. Uh, I think that was one of my explosion procs. Definitely need to buy more ammo. Yeah, Claptrap's explosive skill plus Cryo is a deadly combo. High quality, low price, and no question asked. You're my goodbye friend. I need you to turn on the flow of methane. There should be an activation console somewhere there. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I think you have to avoid health and shield full for subroutines because that's when you get clap trap or you know your vault hunter exe. I love flat off. Well, I love guns with flat off barrels, especially, but flat off assault rifles are so much fun. Light back. Man. Cryo. Nice. Got a ton of moonstones. Yeah, I can. So I think I'll get to the Drakensburg, and that'll probably be the end for today, which is crazy. Can we go?
Uh, I love getting health gated. Not health gated, one shot, technically. Ah, uh, dude. My deaths in this game are so unlucky. I knew I should have action skilled there. That's annoying. Health regen too. Finally. I gotta go over there. Almost done. I wonder what I'm gonna have for dinner. That's the real question. Yeah, I'm thinking any hey, chat, so I haven't been talking, which isn't good for viewer retention, which is sad. Uh, the only issue is I'm getting tired. I mean, I did say I got five hours of sleep, and now it's actually starting to hit me. But for so I guess I'm more of a night person, because like I can't sleep when I want to at night. No, I am wide awake and ready to game, but no. I'm tired at four or almost five o'clock. Mini trap, let's go. Or er, turret. No? Is there a uh, farm legendary? I really want a pistol. Grinder recipes? Uh, you'd have to look up grinder recipes. I don't know the, the grinder recipes at all. Uh, but legendary farms, there honestly aren't many in this game, which is very sad. The best legendary farm is Eos at the end of the Classic Voyage DLC. That's pretty much it. Uh, the Sentinel, is also decent farm, but I believe she can only drop uh, one specific gun. I forgot what it's called, but it's uh, it's only incendiary, also, but it fires homing lasers. It's more of an assault rifle ish. But yeah, otherwise, if you are farming a boss, you can also use all their blues and purples and grind those up to whatever you want. There. Huh? Stuck. All right. I'll just take that. You stuck. Come on. I guess I really should just action skill with my when my health is low because I get Yeah, so I guess I should just keep that in mind.
Awesome. Another one? No. I'm out of ammo. Nice. But oh, come on. It's a surgical. Yeah, nope. Oh, that's that's methane. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. I don't have any fingers. That's marvelous. Now get back to the bridge and turn on the main flow. My best men will gladly meet you there, Vault Hunter, to bore you in the juices of their skill. You're creepy, mister. I thought the last ones we killed were your best men. Ah, I guess they just Nah, we got more. Alright, then. I'll be back. My phone's lagging. Keep freezing, so I. Alright. Yes, next up, a bunch of Kragans. I just want to get to the level so I can save and quit there. I'm not gonna bother with them, but I do need the ammo. <laughs> sure. Oh, well, that lags me a little bit. Don't run. That was close. Ammo. Ah, uh, the beautiful physics. Actually, let's save real quick. Beautiful, beautiful physics. <laughs> Yummy. Epic. It's gonna be really hard to hit them, but it'll do a ton of damage. Ooh. I knew it. Dude, it's it's such a horrible skill. Actually, I should get as well. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Just checking for any legendaries because the uh, baddie kragans have a chance to drop the uh, four seasons. One of my favorite grenades. All right. So day one went really well. We got nine uniques, died six times. Definitely could have been avoided. Ooh.
That's pretty neat. Yeah, so it's between Killbot, honestly probably Killbot because load and explode. Well, let's see. And stack up to five times, so it can you can do a hundred percent more explosive damage. Hmm, that's a tough choice then. Maybe load and explode and kill bot, because that doesn't seem very good. Anyways, though, that is going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. I always appreciate it. Today was a very good day. Had lots of fun. Can't wait for tomorrow. Anyways, this is going to be Enzo from Look Into Gaming signing out.